Good morning. I'm Austin Liu. Um, so parks in different areas and different scale and different locations have, have different functions. And park is a great place to attract people and activities. And also it satisfies people's needs for public domain. So my proposal for my project is to design a smart riverfront park for the researchers and residents to play, learn, and grow. So why we need public spaces? So uh, based on statistics, 68% of the world population is projected to live in urban area by 2050, and compared with 55% right now. So more public, pub, more public spaces are needed. And also based on the data from Wizzy Baton Rouge, uh, we have uh, 11.3 million visitors in 2018. So actually, not we only so not only for need more public spaces for the residents, but also need more public spaces for the visitors as well. So I think Water Campus is a great place to play that role. Um, so we Water Campus is a campus in downtown Baton Rouge, and we have uh, Miss, Mississippi River on the west side and Nicholson Drive on the east side, and the I-10 and bridge is on the north side and across the river. So why I chose uh, water, water campus, so personal connection. I grew up in a coastal city, um, so I, al I was interested in exploring the possibility of design related to water. Um, so I think also think it's a great public space to add benefits to the surrounding neighborhood and the, uh, and the communities. And also the research from the water campus can actually help the, the cities uh, sharing with the same um, coastal issues. So a, a little bit more detail about the water campus. They have an uh, exhibition, they have an office space, they have uh, models uh, to, uh, to study the coast, um, Louisiana coast. So actually they do have an existing master plan on the water campus, but it has some main critiques for that. So disconnection. So the Water Institute itself is actually disconnected with the public space next to it and the uh, campus itself. And also, it lacks public uh, interaction because the Water Institute is not open to, for the, pub, to the public. Uh, and also, it has a poor accessibility to the water uh, and the river. So the, pro, the, the goals of my project is to bridge the connection, so uh, connect the north side of the Water Institute to downtown area, and also use the outdoor space as a, an extension of education that provided by the Water Institute and also proposing an accessible waterfront that is available to the residents and for the researchers as well. So a little bit more about the, the context of this uh, project. So based on the current plant re redevelopment and Florida Boulevard, they, they have proposed uh, a BRT and, and transportation system that connecting the South Baton Rouge to North Baton Rouge. And also I'm interested in connecting a few more key locations because they are the successful elements for this project. So uh, high, higher education institutions, Southern University, LSU, uh, Baton Rouge Community College, um, and also the airport and Baton Rouge downtown because uh, by connecting all of them and the, re the, and the researchers can have more access to, to, to the different hi higher education institute to collect the data or the resources that they need. So based on what I've mentioned, uh, so. Um, so I'm interested in doing a connection diagram to show how they can be connected and then, uh, and then when are they going to be connected uh, and uh, absolutely the waterfront park design itself and also we know uh, the park it will get flooded pretty often so I, I think uh, flood stage alternatives for the site is pretty important and the material and planning palette to support my idea and concept. So more detail about the, my site location. So on the north side of the Water Institute, uh, the size of area is 11.8 acres. Um, so because it's closer, to, uh, it's the it's the place that it's the place is that to connect downtown, and it has the land to do that. So more uh, existing uh, conditions right now. Um, as we can see, we have uh, a lot of green spaces between. I mean, um, on my site and under the bridge as well. So I would like to point out a few uh, three primary benefits of my project. So they're connectivity, education, and technology. So connectivity, it, it actually connect the different communities, uh, no matter uh, in a city or on the bridge, or to, to connect different resources and, and people together. 
and education. We have an outdoor classroom, we have a visiting a visitor tour, and we have an opportunity for students to, uh, to, co to collect data uh, close to the water and something like that. And technology, so uh, thinking about using a sensor to collect different data for the research, for the researchers to advance their research. Uh, so like temperature, noise, uh, the water, and um, uh, soil samples, um, and also a flexible space uh, for, uh, for the residents to interact with each other. I'm, I'm thinking about using augmented reality to maximize the interaction between the user and the physical space. And besides the three primary benefits I'm thinking about, uh, there, will, there are more uh, benefits for that, so accessibility for the researchers and the communities, the residents to be close to the water and get what they want, and social benefit to have a different uh, discussion area and idea uh, hub or, 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 or dining experience and, um, and, and networking or performance uh, activities. And recreational benefit, uh, uh, observation deck and picnic space, something like that. And ecological benefit because it's not only for the people but also has be, uh, built more habitats for the wildlife as well. So I think the main of my project, Tibet and Rouge, are three of them. So the first one, amenities. So it, actually, it, it provides uh, the amenities to the, re to the researchers and to the residents. And also it has the benefit it provides a lot of actual benefit to the surrounding area and the communities and also the purpose. Uh, I'm trying to create an environment that can better serve the campus, uh, which, I mean, the, the research from the campus is critical to the, to the future of Louisiana and, and the cities with sharing with the same uh, issues. And my, the meaning of my project to the discipline, so it can, it's a, it's, it's a perfect example or a, it serves as a, an example to uh, as a waterfront example in mid-sized mid cities in the U.S. and also uh, trying to explore a way to use data-driven design in an outdoor space. And also the, it, the project can advance the research on climate change which can potentially benefit the world.